yeah, that's what I'm talking about right now. And you know what's going right down. What is it, yo? It's the daily, 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 go get up, miss them. So, you think it ain't when it is? Uh, you think it won't when it is? We are here and we are in motion. We do this thing. Taking off fast lane, no posting. And everything is going to be your bright. Everything is going to be your bright. Think it won't, uh. Everything is going to be your bright. Got the game tight and it's my night. Yes, it is word. And I'm feeling like a real man should. It's the Daily Go Get a Miss Show Hump Day Wednesday. All up in your area. It's the 10th of the month and I can't find I'm feeling good and I'm about to give you what you want. Word. Because I take it after my dad, I take after my mom, I got a little of both, and I think that I'm gonna be all right, and think I'm gonna be okay, and I'm gonna put y'all on today. We talking about who you take after. You know, when we was little, we was always talking about, I take after my mom, I take after my dad. Uh, yeah, you know, basically, if you look like either one of your parents, that's who we used to say you take after, right? Remember that? I take after my mom now. You think I don't when I do? Uh, you think it ain't that with you? I am, and everything is gonna be all right. It's gonna be okay. We do this like it every day. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah. So you know, I take after my mom. I take after my dad. Which one y'all take after? Which one do y'all take after? Who do you look like more? Your mom or your dad? See, when we was younger, when we was kids. A lot of it was based on how you look. You look like your mom, you look after your dad, look like your dad, you take after your mom, and you take after your dad. After we started, after we started developing our own personality and our own behavior, then people started thinking about, oh, oh, you act like some who? Oh, you act like your mom, you act like your dad. You said that's who you take after. You might look like your mom, but you take after your dad. That's why you can shoot basketball real bad. You know, that kind of thing. We started paying attention to uh, our behavioral traits as we start getting older. You know what I mean? Those those are the things that started to make a little bit more sense. Yeah, yeah, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Pull, pull the shades down a little bit on this thing. Put a shade down a little bit. There we go. Urban Therapy with Sun, Sun 752 with this daily, 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 go get a miss show. We do this every single day, every single day, every day, every day it rains, every day it rains. And the DG will do the same. We break it down, baby. Every day it rains, and the DG will do the same. Every day it rains, and the DG will do the same. Every day it rains, and the DG will do the same. Every day it rains, and the DG will do the same. I am your host, Sun Seven Five Two, aka Omar. What the? And if you can't say Omar with the well, then you just say Omar with the R. It's the Daily Go Get It Business Show, all up in your area. Feeling like a real man should, and I hope that y'all feel like real men and women should because you should. Why not? Why shouldn't you? Why? 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 It's gonna be all right. Yeah, you think it won't be all right, but it will. Uh, and here it is. Come day Wednesday, it's the tenth of the month. It's the tenth of the month, and you know, I mean, honestly. I feel like this month is breezing through. It's breezing through. It's 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 doing it's doing its numbers all early. Tenth of the month. We was just talking about how it was the end of Black History Month in February, and then it was the first of the month, and now here it is. Boom! It's the tenth. You turn around a couple of weeks, it'll be the twenty fourth. Oh, oh, uh, 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 uh. And we gonna rock tonight. We're talking about who you take after. Who you take after. Do you know? Do you know what I'm talking about when I say who you take after? We're talking about who, who you look like, who you act like, what your characteristics are similar to. So we're going to talk about who you take after. And if you haven't used that term in a while, well, tonight, tonight is the night. We're going to bring it on back and I put it under attack and dissect that. We're going to 
pick it apart and hang it like art and everything is going to be all right from the end to the start. Everything is going to be all right of what we play and we know that we do it our own way. It's the Get A Mism Show. Go Get A Mism Show and you know that I'm down with y'all. Y'all down with it oh, and we do this every day and I'm glad that it is that way. All right, so we talking about who you take after tonight. Who you take after? Who you take after? Whoa, 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 whoa. Let me see how my, my, my people. Stacy, your vet white. Stacy. Stacy, Stacy, what's going on? Holding down for the D all day, every day. Good to see me some of you. And T carry right morning, noon, and night. It's good to have my peepers all up in your sight. And my brother, my brother, my Ansel Jones, my brother Ansel Jones. Girls can't leave him alone. Uh, be more all up in the house. Don't you know? That's my man. That's my brother. Yeah, you know how I go. Word. And Emily Dunlap is in the house of Bow. She about to turn it out. Good to see me some you, Emily. So we talking about who you take after. Who do y'all take after? When you were younger, did you look more like your mom or did you look more like your dad? Did you evolve? Did you start looking like the other one, like the one that you looked more, uh, look least like when you were younger? Do you look more like them now? Did... Did your personality, the way that you act, your character, your character traits start to make you start resembling, huh? Make you start resembling one parent over another. But hold on, hold on, hold on, because this is bigger. This is bigger than just who you look like when we start talking about who you take after, because we're going to have to talk about something a little deep. We're going to have to push the envelope a little farther. Can you take after somebody that you are not related to? We know that you can take after a mama or a daddy. We know that you can take over a, take after a sister or a brother. We know that you can take after an auntie or uncle. We know that you can take after your grandparents. We know that you can take after a cousin that you've been around. We know that you can. I want to take it down. Okay, no. But can you take after? Can you take after somebody that does not share your bloodline at all? Now, that person that doesn't share your bloodline could be your cousin, aunt, uncle, even a parent by marriage or by some other type of relationship, whatever. You know, and you may have been exposed to them and been and have been influenced by them so much that you started to take after them the way that they think, their thought patterns, their the way that they move, you know, certain things that they did, their interests, things that interested them. Maybe they had an influence on you and it interested you. And so you started to mimic, started to, started to, um, uh, exemplify, started to display characteristics of that person that was not in your family. Oh, oh. now some people might say, no, you not, you can't take after somebody that's not in your family, somebody that's not, that doesn't share your bloodline, you just copying off of them. You can be influenced, but you can't take after them. You can be influenced, but you can't take after them. You can be influenced, but you can be influenced. You can be influenced, but you can't take after them. Why, 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 fly tie said, okay, get by. Cause Dino came over in the middle of the night. I was listening to the wall and all her was a fight. Okay. Molly came, well, hold up. Somebody came in the room and all that, and then Molly came out with a big ass broom. He said, uh, I'm going to get. Okay, now. Nah, nah. Roxanne Shante, remember? Queen of Rocks, 1985. More like 84, right? Queen of Rocks. The Queen of Rocks. My brother from another mother, Norris Hill. Let's up, my brother from another mother, Norris Hill. Can you take after somebody that does not share your bloodline? Can you do that? That's what we're asking tonight. Can you take after somebody who is not a family member of yours? Or do we have to find another word for it? Maybe you can't take after them, but maybe you can be like them. Maybe you can take your influences to another level. You can take it to another level and start to act the way they act, be the way they are. 
think the way that they think, move the way that they move. You know, um, if somebody if somebody trains you, if somebody coaches you, if somebody if somebody uh, tutors you, can you not do what they did in the style that they did it? Um, think about this. Think about this. Um, first of all, peace, peace to uh, Dr. Sabi. Peace to all my Sabi Sabiites out there. A lot of people really believe and bought into the the teachings and the the trainings and the workings of Dr. Sabi. They really believed in in his holistic approach, his naturopathic approach to to medicine and his his cures, his proven cures for things like HIV and things like that. So you have people out there who studied him so deeply, so fondly and so 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 hard that they have been able to adopt his technique and help people in their own way. They're Sabiites. Of course he had he had a daughter who actually still runs his clinic and 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 still runs his practices. That expensive shit. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my Sabi Ice Miss. I, shout out. If you can afford it, Dr. Sabi is the way to go. If you can't afford it, well, you're gonna die. But um, anyway, anyway, so have they taken after Dr. Sabi? If you direct if you work directly under somebody, somebody is showing you exactly how to do this, son. Do you and and you feed into it? I'm not even gonna say feed into it because that sounds derogatory, right? You accept the practices and the teachings. Well, have you taken after them? If you start doing what they do and start having a similar effect on others the way they did, do you take after them? Do you take after them? Can I get a witness? Can somebody say something? Can I get an answer? Do anybody know nothing? Yo, 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 yo. Yo, yo, my big sis Robbie, Robbie Ming is all up in here, gonna do her thing. It's always good to have my eyes on you. It's good to see you. That's my word, y'all. Uh, that's my word, y'all. Can you take after somebody that's not in your family? Can you take after somebody who does not share your bloodline? Can you take, can you have hereditary uh, um, um, characteristics, hereditary traits from somebody that you do not have heredity possible from? I want to know. Can you talk to me? Can you talk to me, baby? Can you talk? Come and talk to me. And Cherry Cherry, I ain't see Cherry Cherry, Cinderella, Dana Dane. Well, it's the woman, Dana Dane, with famous Cinderella, Dana Dane. Well, it's the woman, Dana Dane, with fame. What's going on, Dana Dane? It's the Dane. It's the Dane. And Barbara Hill, she said, what up, Bobby? What up, Bobby C. Say, good to see me some you, without a doubt. That's right. I'm talking to you. Do you only take after people that were in your family, or can you take after somebody who you don't share a bloodline with? Somebody who has influenced you, somebody who has been a positive or even a negative influence in your life. Can you take after them? Or do we have to find another word to describe the emulation that you have adopted from them? Talk to me. Talk to me. If y'all really want to talk to me, if y'all want to get on the line, all you have to do is call a 319-527-6199. That's a number to call. I said a 319-527-6199. Yes, 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 y'all. I said a 319-527-6199. Yeah, get on the line. I said a 319-527-6199. Yeah, get your shine, baby. Uh. 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 Get your shine, baby. Three one nine five two seven six one nine nine. I said three one nine five two seven six one nine nine. Said three one nine five two seven six one nine nine. You can call, get me right on the line, and there's no censorship not on this show. The way that you say it is the way it'll flow. You can yell, you can cuss, you can curse. 
curse, you can scream, you can eh, swear if it seems like that's the only way that you get your point across. Don't worry about it. You ain't going to take no loss. And I'm still the boss. I'm sometimes an employee. Yo, I'm down with you. Yeah, boy. All right. So, can you take after somebody who is not your blood relative? Or do we have to find another word to describe it? Do we have to find another word to describe your emulation, your imitation, your your duplication, your uh, your your carbon your carbon copying of somebody else's techniques, their ways? My mother weighs my mother weighs a good, so I copy her. Me and my crew was so close, we chick we kiss cheeks like the mafia. Y'all probably don't know that line. That was from remember uh Smooth the Hustler? You know, he was had a little buzz in the mid-90s, you know, mid late 90s. You know what I mean, Smooth the Hustler. I used to like Smooth the Hustler, he was pretty good. Bobby says, sorry, I'm on time. My bad. I know how it be. I know how it be. All right. All right. And so Joan says, your birth certificate don't have an expiration date. Hmm. How about that? Hmm. I never looked at it that way. Interesting. Emily says, I look like my mom and I see it more and more the older I get. Nah, nah, who do I take after? Probably my dad's side. Them Dan Dunlaps. Emily Dunlap in the house of city. Emily. Robbie says, um, you can take after someone. Yes, you can take after someone who's not in your family, a mentor, a good friend. It's funny. It's funny, Rob. The reason why I ask that is because you don't hear people say that they take after somebody who's not in their family. They may say, well, I, you know, we, we may say something like, I got that from my people's, I got it from, I got it from my, I got it from, you know where you get that from? I got it from, I know where you got that from. You got it from, yo, you get that from, you got it from, yo, you get that, I got it from, yo, you get that, I, I got it, uh, I, I got it. Yeah, a lot of times we just say that we got it from somebody. But why, why can't we take after them? If you like somebody, if you love somebody, if you if, if you admire somebody, if you if you have deep affection and feelings for somebody, and you like the way that they did things or the way that they do things, why can't you take after them? Why not? Why not? Certain certain icons in history, we sure hear people saying they take after it, or we'll say. You know, I'm affected. Um, the blood of the blood of uh, let's say, let's say the blood of I feel like the blood of Martin Luther King courses through my veins. I feel the message that he was trying to bring. I I understood his struggle. I feel like he is he is me and I am him. You may actually feel that way. And and it could be somebody that you never met. I'm thinking because it's an influence. It's somebody who had a deep, deep meaning and impact on your life. Look at how many people, look at how many people um, really felt close to like a Michael Jackson or Prince. You know, I mean, people really felt it. Beyond the music, they really felt like they knew him. And, and there have been plenty of artists that have emulated both of them. But are they copying them or do they take after them? Do they take after them? You know, if you spent hours studying somebody's music, studying the way that they did something, especially if they're a musician, so it's more than just the way that they sing because any parrot, can emulate somebody's voice but when you start talk when you start taking on when you start seeing the way that somebody played their instrument you know when you 
when you really get down to what what their breath control was like, um, how they how they managed how how they managed to mix sounds and and uh you know basically basically when you got their technique down to a T as if as if you could play their music and if everybody closed their eyes they would not know the difference between you and them. Have you taken after them? If you've bought books and and videos of this person and you like like you really when you got on stage you were like a cover artist you covered that you no know, even your original songs were like a cover for that artist and i use michael and prince because you feel their influence on a in a whole lot of of musicians singers and stuff like even my favorite singer the weekend he is michael jackson if Michael Jackson was cool and had some gangster in him, he would be, if he cursed on his records, he would be The Weeknd. And The Weeknd is dope, but The Weeknd don't dance like Michael Jackson or nothing like that. But when you listen to his voice, like, yo, you're not going to tell me he is not influenced by Michael Jackson. No way. No way. If Michael Jackson wrote his own songs and actually talked about pussy and drugs, and murder. He would be the weekend. But many others have emulated Michael Jackson too. You know, whether it was what, what, the way they danced or the way they sang, a whole lot of different ways. But you're not going to be famous on that level and, and revered on that level and nobody nobody um um copies you or nobody emulates your style it's just not going to happen somebody has to take a piece over of that off of that because you have given yourself to the world so of course somebody's going to take a piece of it they may not have taken the whole thing but your influence is there so they feel your soul maybe they feel maybe they feel like they were more than a fan to you maybe they felt like no i felt like he he was the father he was he gave birth to to my musical career and you may have never even met the man, you know, but you can hear the influence. You can hear the influence. <laughs> you know, Prince was a little harder. You can sing like one of Prince's songs, but to be a musician on that level, a musical genius that way. Like I can't, I can write songs, but not at that volume. I can produce music, but not at that rate. You know? You know, because Prince wrote songs for everybody simultaneously. And he produced and arranged and mixed. He did everything. There aren't too many people who do that in the studio with live instruments. There aren't too many people who do that. So, you know, but there are plenty who do, but they are far and few these days. These days. Okay. Emily says, I would say, yes, you can take after someone you're, you're not blood related to because being around people, you mostly pick up on how and what they do. Sounds good to me. And so says natural medicine and natural food doesn't have the same effect on everyone, med on everyone's medical conditions. That's true. Um, it's hard to go wrong with food. or herbs as long as you don't cook it it's hard to go wrong hmm. Hmm. you think maybe hmm. you think maybe that's why people are allergic to peanuts a lot because peanuts aren't they aren't like natural don't they roast peanuts first? Okay, wait a minute. Okay. 
Narsil says behaviors tend to be mimical. I, I'm sorry. Behaviors um, seem t- behavior behaviors tend to be mimicked if you're around them long enough. Yeah, you know, like uh, especially you know when a man and a woman are together, you know, man and wife or boyfriend girlfriend, you know, lover and lover, lover love it. A lot of times they'll start saying the same things that the other one says. Like all my girls, they always steal the things I say. They always stealing my shit. They be biting my shit all the time. They be biting my shit. They be biting my shit all the time. You know what I'm saying? They be biting my shit, son. I be going on, I be going on people pages and I be seeing shit like glorious daybreak. Don't know where you get that shit from. Me. Me. We don't even go together. I see you shit. Supreme awakening. Who says that besides me? Nobody. I made that shit up. They be biting my shit. I don't care. I don't care. But they should have gave me some ass first. You can't steal my... But it, but when you are around people, you know, and you're not, you going to start saying they little they little, they little thing. If it, it starts getting catchy, like yeah, that little thing you say. You may not even mean to do it, but does that mean you take after them, though? But do you take after them, though? I take after my girl. <laughs> I take after my girl. It sounds crazy, right? I take after my man. Like I take after my man. You take after somebody you met when you was thirty. Yeah, yeah. He gave me new life. You know, it all started with a little bit of dick. A little bit of dick is all it takes. A little bit of dick goes a long, long way. A little bit of dick is all it takes. A little bit of dick is what we, girl, got to make it right. Okay. Okay. Siobhan. What's going on, Siobhan? Good to see me some you. That's my word. True. Thanks for coming on through. You know how we do. Siobhan says, uh, early childhood, early childhood, I took on some of my my nanny's mannerisms and traits. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, look, a grandparent can definitely have a strong influence on a grandchild, especially if if you were raised by your grandparents. You know, a lot of people were my my, my dad was raised by his grandparents. Plenty of people I know were raised by their grandparents if they if their parents were unable to raise them for whatever reason, you know. So you know your gra- grandparents can have a strong influence, and it's normally a really strong positive influence. But since we're talking about um, influences, check this out, right? Check it out, right? Why ain't this some shit? Did y'all know that y'all could? Did y'all know that you could um, use um, um, vegetable oil on your skin? Ain't this some shit? I mean, it kind of makes sense, right? It's oil. It's oil. So you know, like, yo, you break out the Crisco, you can put that Crisco on your shit. Get your shine on. Oh, let me fix my hair. I, I, y'all ain't even tell me my shit was out of place. Huh. Oh shit. Hmm, okay. Okay. Yeah, you can put <laughs> you can put some oil. You can put oil on your shit. Yeah, I said hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me see. Vegetable oils are natural emollients. Packed with vitamins and nutrients. Recognized by your body, your skin will not only be soft, but also nourished. You can use them directly on the skin to make a scrub or body butter or add a few drops of an, of oil in rose water or aloe vera juice for moisturizing, for a moisturizing spray. Six supermarket vegetable oils. Sweet almond oil, olive oil, coconut oil avocado oil, macadamia nut oil, 
grape seed oil, sperm. They sell that in the supermarket. They got stopped wilding. They got stopped wilding. They was wilding. <laughs> they was wilding. All right. All right. Okay. 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 Emily says Dunlap's got attitudes, boy. Boy, I tell you, my mom, Martins, so do. So do sweet. Me, I can be both sweet and salty, okay? All right, all right, all right. Robbie talking about some Emily, I can be nice or nasty, LOL. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. My uh my uh chat is just opening up. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Okay, there we go. Narso says you should you should hear one of of MJ's nephews. Okay, I'm talking straight down to the vib vibrato. Okay, mm. okay, all right. Grits and wavy, wavy and grits. I said our grits and wavy, wavy and grits. I said our grits and wavy, wavy and grits. I'm glad you came on through because you know that you're the. <laughs> Barbara Hill C says, tell the truth and don't lie at Sun 752. <laughs> yeah, I did used to say that. Your people was running around saying that shit and don't lie. Right. It was already too late. They was already lying. I mean, like what you doing? And don't lie either. Don't lie. Just don't, don't, you ain't got to do that. You ain't got to do that shit. Carol Chamberlain says, I'm back at the right time. <laughs> he starts talking <laughs> back, right? At the, at the time, he starts talking about, <laughs> starts talking about ass. <laughs> it was so, I was like, I wasn't really talking about it. I wasn't even talking about that shit. You know what I'm saying? I was chilling. I was chilling. I was chilling. What you talking about? I was chilling. Okay. 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 All right. All right. <laughs> Emily says you missed the spot on the on the left. That's a spit, Emily. You know what I mean? Your little fat fingers be be <laughs> be missing them keys. <laughs> you gotta start proof right read my ah. You gotta start proof reading the old people. Ah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, you did correct yourself. Too late. Okay. Um Robbie Robin saying Robbie Robin Ming says, I know you can use olive oil in your skin. I don't know about Crisco. I'm telling you, you can use Crisco. You know what I mean? Well, not the not the shortening Crisco, but the vegetable oil. Wesson. Crisco, <laughs> just don't use the store brand, but you might be able to use the store brand. You know what I mean? The good shit. <laughs> you did that shot right. Yeah, I'm rubbing the shot right on, baby. Rubbing that shot right. I got the shot right. I got the shop right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chris and Wavy says, I love coming here. <laughs> it's just like the TV show Cheers. Sometimes you wanna, sometimes you wanna go where everybody knows your name. Dun, 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 dun. And they always glad you came. Dun, dun. You wanna go where people know troubles all the same. They can read, and that's the way they know your name. They can read, they can read, they can read. They be messing up when they writing, but it's still okay. This shit is kind of exciting. I'm glad to be here. Glad to put on the show. Glad y'all came came through. Glad y'all tell. Oh, yes, y'all learn about vegetable oil on the skin. 
and now we begin. We was talking about who you take after. Well, who you who do you take after? Who do you look like? Do you look like your mom? Do you look like your dad? You know what I mean? Sometimes, sometimes it, you know, I've, I've met people who weren't twins, but the brothers look exactly the same. Can you take after your brother? Why not? Why not? Take after your brother. Take after your brother, son. And go. Take after your brother. You know? I mean, it's no reason why you can't. It's no reason why you can't, but... You know, you take after somebody who has a strong influence on you. Now, where, where, where the problem really comes, though, is when you get to the point where, you know, nobody wants to take a, a, a accountability for who you take after. You know, like when you start when you're young and, you know, you got big ears on some Martin Lawrence shit. It's like, yeah, you take after your dad and all of that. But when your ass starts stealing, who you take after then? Uh, now, nah, your dad ain't used to steal. That's your mama. Your mama, she the thief, a little kleptomaniac ass. She got a problem. She steals shit. She used to be robbing niggas. She used to start slobbing niggas, start robbing niggas. She used to slob a nigga, start robbing niggas. She used to... Yeah. When you start going to jail back and forth, you start getting into shit, dropping out of school, can't read too well. Who you take after then? You know what I mean? Now both parents like. Mm. Mm. <laughs> when you start, when you start following the crowd instead of being a leader uh, in your own right, who you take after then? Who, 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 who's going to take accountability for that? Who's going to take you home tonight? Oh, see, that's when it gets a little dicey when people don't want that. Now, I don't want him taking after me. I don't want him spending half of his half of half of his life in and going in and out of jail, in and out of jail, in and out of, in and out of jail, in and out of jail, in and, in, and, in and out of jail. 20 years of your life and you only 45 and you spent that much time in jail. It's, a, it's not a good look. So when you when when your offspring. Or you start exemplifying that type of behavior. Who do you take after then? See, taking after somebody is not always about positive things. You can have just as strong of a negative impact on somebody as you do having a positive influence. So when you're a man and you start being abusive, you start smacking bitches up. <laughs> Bitch, you ain't going to wash the dishes? Oh, you ain't going to pass me the remote? Oh, oh, you don't want full draws? Just like your father. Just, 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 just like your father. Just, just, just like your father. Uh, just, uh, just like your father. You take after uh, just like your father, get that. Yeah, just like your father. And when you are a woman and you get with a man, with, when every man you get with abuses you, and instead of breaking out, instead of being smarter in your choices of finding the men, of finding men, you stick in there, hang out, and take that ass with me. Just like your mom. Yo, yeah, just like your. Yo, what the fuck? Just like your mom. Yo, yeah, that's like. Yeah, just like your mom, uh, can't break it. Just like got another black eye, uh, yeah, just like you take at, uh, uh. Yeah, it ain't always sweet like that. It's not always sweet like that. Who see nobody wants to take after anybody when it comes to the negative shit. Nobody wants to take at. Nobody wants to take after that. If you have, if if your parents. If your parents lived a dangerous lifestyle and it got them taken out early in life and you start doing the site type that type of shit like your dad sold drugs. He sold drugs. So he got taken out of this world before 30 years old. 
28, 29 years old, got all shot up and shit, but he was he was damn near a kingpin. Now you selling drugs, just like you, uh, you who you take out, just like, uh, yeah, uh, just like, yeah, uh, what? You take, a oh, sh you take, what you take, no doubt, no doubt, shit is real. Yeah, see, that's when taking after somebody ain't no fun. This is bigger than looks. This is bigger than skills. You can take after somebody in the negative, in the most negative of ways. You can start taking after somebody in the most negative of ways. So if your mom and your dad are still alive, they probably don't want to own up to a lot of the shit that you take after them. If your mom was promiscuous, you know, she was a little hoe. I mean, your mom was nice and, you know, she ain't a hoe no more. But, you know, and she had a time in the sun. She had a time in the sun. Your mom was very popular back in the day. Because you can be a hoe and still be fly. I've seen many a hoe still get respect. Like, yeah, she give up the ass, but it ain't cheap. You got a couple of dollars, you can get that. But, you know what I mean? This ain't dollar hoagie pussy over here. That ain't dollar hoagie pussy over here. You, you know what I mean? You know, that's that, that's that good chicken Caesar salad. Mm. Oh, shit good in the motherfucking boy. Good Caesar sauce, man. Oh, damn. Fuck. Mm. Mm. Damn. Good shit. Mm -hmm. Chicken tender? Fuck y'all got in this shit? What's that shit? Popeyes? Yeah, your mom got that good, that good, good chicken Caesar salad. She got that good... Chicken Caesar salad, um, ho ass. This ain't no, that's not a dollar hoagie. That is not a dollar hoagie. Nah, 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 nah. That's, 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 that's that good provolone Swiss on the cheese steak. That ain't, that ain't no American. That ain't no cheese whiz. This is not a South Philly. This is not a South Philly, um, um, bullshit, uh, Geno's or Pat Steaks or, or Tony Luke's, um, cheese. No, this is. This is real shit. This is on the north side of Philly. Not that, not, you know, South Philly. That's the cap up. That's not, they don't have real good cheesesteaks over there. I don't know what the fuck they talking about. You come to north, yeah. 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 So your mom used to be a hoe. Now, you know, you a little loose with the drawers yourself. Now, your mom might have been looking for love. And you looking for love. Your mom maybe finally figured it out. That giving up her body is not is not the same. It, you know, men loving you for your body is not the same as them loving you for yourself. She may have figured it out late, but here you are taking after her, and she see it. She see it, and she know why you're doing what you're doing. Does she have the balls to come forward and break you out of it with an explanation of her reality? Of when she was in it, because she knows that you take after her. Hmm? Huh? Who you taking after? If your dad was a habitual cheater, you know what I mean, your dad might have been a hoe and he was an adulterer. One thing is for sure. Is that just because you are a man doesn't mean that you're going to take after your father. And just because you're a woman doesn't mean that you're going to take after your mother. I've seen many women take on the traits and characteristics of their dad. Sometimes they did it when their dad wasn't even around. You can be influenced hereditarily by some, someone that you have not been exposed to. I've seen it. You've seen it. We've all seen it. You still take after him. 
So sometimes heredity is not the end all be all. Sometimes it ain't about no heredity. Sometimes it's all about it's all about that that cosmic that cosmic genetic influence. It's in the sun. It's in the moon. It's in the stars. Hmm? You were born with your moon in Capricorn. Ironically, your grandmother was born with the moon in Capricorn. Hmm? Okay. Your grandmother was a Capricorn sun. And you was Capricorn moon. For my astrology people, y'all know what I'm talking about. So, you know, yeah, unfortunately, uh, who you take after ain't always fun. <laughs> it could be funny. Like, yo, your mom can't, your, your, your mom couldn't fucking drive. And look at you, you can't fucking drive. Yo, man, I can't wait till we get to, when we finally get to our destination. You drive like a small crawl. You drive like there's traffic when there is none. Man, you are a roadway nightmare. Yes, you are. Yes, you are, baby. GK Wright says, in the face, I look like both parents and a cross between my aunt from each side. Love my top. My top half from my dad's my dad's side my mom half from my mom's side and my bottom half from my mom's side not sure where i get my weirdness from there's the way he says technically you can use a lot of things on your skin lotion and cooking oil are both chemical compounds yeah it might be cheaper to just go get a a, a you know, like we spending all this money on, you know, coconut oil and all this old lotion and shit. You need to just go get some Wesson. That, that shit probably lasts a lot longer, too. Break out the Wesson. People are like, damn, man, you used to have acne and all that shit. Your shit all smooth. What you been doing? <sighs> ain't your Chinese secret. Let me say ain't your Chinese secret. All right, I'm going to tell you. I ain't going to tell nobody else, though. What is it? What is it? What is it? Lard. Lard? Yeah. Lard. Lard. <laughs> Let me stop saying that shit. That shit fuck around at work. You done rub the swine on your skin. She got pork on her shit. You smell like bacon. You been eating? You ate breakfast this morning? No, I ain't eat shit. Like. Baby, I'm ready to lick your arm. And I don't know why. Bacon, 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 bacon! <laughs> Carol told us some talkie. The weirdness could come from Sun 752. <laughs> Barbie Hill CJ says, I look like both of them. My mama and my daddy. And I swore when I was in when I was my super, when I was in my super masculine energy making risky decisions, I was taking after my papa. Okay. Prince Weaver says, I look like my dad's mom and a bit like him. Okay. Carol Chamberlain says, combination of mom and dad. Okay. Barbara Hill CC says, my mama. Also used to say you should you should be a long distance driver. You're just like your dad. My dad did teach teach me how to parallel park, but I love but my love of driving came from my love of cars. <clears throat> okay. We all have widows peaks. Oh, and your family always okay, cool, 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 cool. I look like my dad's brother Ricky. Just kidding. <laughs> oh shit. Don't, don't start no shit. All right. I can't. Carol Chamberlain says, I can't cut my hair 
because my dad and brothers all had square heads. I probably have one too. <laughs> so you ain't gonna find that shit out. Huh? Okay, okay, okay. You find out you got a box head and you just got hair over it and shit. You know what I'm saying? Looking like a tablecloth. It's all good though. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. T. Carrie Wright says, Carol, I've been a weird, I've been weird a long time. I only known son seven years. Seven years. God damn. Time go by fast as fuck. Damn. <laughs> Carol says, Taki. <laughs> it got it got it got weirder when you met him. <laughs> so says she grabbed ankles just like a mom. More women need to take after they they, they moms like that. But it'll all it'll all be explained in my new book. Don't grab the ankles of the wrong one. Don't grab the ankles of the wrong one. <laughs> Emily says, Taki, seven years is long enough. You just thought I you just thought it was before then. Oh well, man, whatever, man. She don't know me like that. She don't know me like that. Barbara says, cracking the hell up. Sun at Southern 752, smacking chicks up. Wow. But seriously. My nephew witnessed my dad doing a lot of shit and he picked it up some from his old, some from his dad and some from my dad, odd influences. It's not that odd. It's not that odd, especially if, if they saw that it worked. Now, if, if, you know, if you witness abuse and you see somebody fighting back and it actually becomes a fight, you probably are not going to do that. But if you see that your anger and your aggression has made people bow down, made people submit, made people, you know, do your bidding. If they see that it has been successful, they'll probably emulate it. But you have to have it in you. You know what I mean? If you don't have it in you, it ain't going to play out like that. So, you know what I mean? Hmm. But yeah, unfortunately, abusing or being abused is something that many people take after concerning their parents. It's just like that. TK writes on some Emily, you write supreme evening, sis. <laughs> <laughs> That's grand evening. Thank you. Grand evening. <laughs> she, she got flued out first class. ASL said, okay. Jeff Hawkins, what's up, my brother? What's up, man? How you feeling? Good to see you. Good to see you. TK Wright says, I definitely got my tenaciousness from my great grandmother, Carrie. Word up. Cherry Cherry says, see chicken sees a salad over here. You know. <laughs> Yo, they the craziest shit. She like, okay. Yeah, okay. I might have had a little whole fade. But that was this was chicken Caesar salad. They I ain't fuck that you ain't nah, no dollar store hoagie over this. No dollar hoagie. No, no, no. You won't be half a hoagie in this pussy. This ain't no half a hoagie. This ain't <laughs> this ain't the shit that you eat on your half hour lunch break. You ain't got an hour, you ain't fucking with this. No, no. <laughs> Yo, that shit is the fly. <laughs> chicken Caesar salad over here. It's your fried chicken. How fly? Jeff Hawkins says that's right, Omar. Fake South Philly steaks. <laughs> Pissing off. Passing off is the real thing. Yo, South Philly been fronting forever. I mean, shout out to my people from South Philly, but they know and people from South Philly will tell you they ain't got no good cheese steaks down this shit. <laughs> Fuck out of here. Not the not the places they talking about. Not what they talking about. 
fuck is that? What time is it? Seven fifty five. Okay. All right. Um Okay, okay, okay. What we got? What we got? What we got? What we got? All right. Carol says, olive oil for me. <laughs> right, right. Cold bacon grease. <laughs> you got that scrap of grease. Yeah, stop rub- rubbing that scrap of oil, you damn skin. You tripping. You tripping. Is it working? It's working? It's working? Mm-hmm. All right. Be careful. Don't use too much. We got to eat. The kids ain't <laughs> the kids. The kids the, the kids still gotta eat. Robbie Robin Ming says most of my dri- my traits came from my mom. Being being nice came from my mom. I guess having a, a mean streak came from my sperm to oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, you just gonna give. You just gonna give. You ain't even gonna call him your dad. You gonna, you know what I mean? Not only are you gonna give him the bad traits, but you he get the sperm do- damn. Damn, mama. You ain't even right. You get to not even being right from somebody. Where you get your green eyes from, Robin? Huh? Huh? Did your mama have green eyes? Did she? Hmm? I bet you she didn't. I bet you your dad had green eyes, didn't he? he? Yeah, I bet he did. I bet he did. Yeah, you don't, yeah, yeah, I bet he did. Didn't he? Yeah, I bet he did. Yo, didn't he? He had green eyes, didn't he? Yeah, he did. He did. He did. Yeah, he did, didn't he? He ain't got a lot. He ain't got a lot. Nobody get green eyes from their mom. Nobody. Green eyes are a male trait. <laughs> Carol Hamlin said at Robin, both of my parents had tempers, so I guess that's why I do, but I try to control it. You do? Carol, you try to control your temper? Where, offline or online? Is is that the good Carol, online? Is that what that is? Hmm. (laughs) Robin said... My mean, my my meanness came from the mean side. Okay, all right. Okay, well, taking after somebody, as you can see, <laughs> as you can see, can come from. It can come from people you were influenced by, but sometimes it can it can come like straight through genetics. You know what I mean? And I think it would probably be hard to take after somebody who you're not related to you're not blood related to and who you've never been around but as we were talking about you know like celebrities and people that you have had a chance to to watch without them being able to watch or look back at you you can still emulate a lot of things that they've done but you probably wouldn't take after them unless you really studied them deeply. I'm thinking. No, it still says, not true. Not true about the eyes. I got my I got mine from my grandmother. Yo, church. I was talking about Robbie. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Did you get your did you get your um your green eyes from your grandmother on your mother's side or on your father's side? It was probably on your father's side. And she probably got her green eyes from her dad side. Cherry mm. mm, 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 mm. says, I look exactly like my mother. I'm just shorter. My other sisters look like her, but but I look the most. Now, when I was younger, I looked a lot like my dad. Like when I was a little boy, I looked almost exactly like my dad, people would say. 
But I think as I got older, I, I think I look a lot like my mom's side of the family. That shit was not present before. It, it, it just wasn't going down like that. It is now. Robbie Robin Ming says your mother, her mother's side, probably lying. Probably lying. No, it still says on my mother's side. No, boy. <laughs> Barbara Hill CCA says, if everybody taking green eyes from, from, from the other person, how can they see Chrissy Snow? Christmas Snow. Christmas Snow. There's no business like show business like no business I know. All right. All right. No, so it says, but both of my parents' eyes are brown. Yeah, they say it skips a generation. Look, I don't give a fuck. I'm, I'm going to come up with an answer for everything tonight. Now, where do I get that from? That gotta be my daddy. It gotta be. Robbie Robbie me says, I don't have to prove nothing. Yes, you do. Uh-huh. Yes, you do. You gotta prove everything. Cause I said so. So start proving. Make sure that y'all hit that like button, man. Hit the like button. Make sure y'all hit the like button. Make sure that y'all share the show. Make sure that y'all subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet. This is the Daily Go Get a Mism show, and we've been talking about I get it from where you get it from. Where you, I mean, I'm sorry. Who you take after? Who you take after? Who you, who you, who you? Who you take after? Where? Who do you take after? Who do you take after? I take after my mom. I take after my daddy. Emily says she didn't say Christmas. She said Chrissy. Well, if you watch Three's Company, you know that Chrissy was short for Christmas. Her name was Christmas Snow. Da la 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 Three is company too. Carol says, Omar, you just stop bullying people. You can't be right all the time. Man, fuck that. Yes, I can. You know what I mean, like, I, you know I mean, yeah, you can say I can't be right all the time. I can even say I'm not right all the time. But I only say I'm not right all the time at times when I'm trying to get out of something. Other than that, man, fuck that. Yeah. I can be right on a good run. You mad. You just mad. You just mad. You just mad. Hey, yo. Yo. They over here talking shit. Yeah. Come here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo. Yo, come here. Yeah. They over here talking shit. <laughs> Yo, yo, come on, come on, show them, show them what we do. Yeah, premium feline over here. Yeah, quality offspring, quality feline, you tell them. Premium, baby, premium, yeah. Quality feline, good kitty, nice kitty. Fun kitty, good kitty, nice kitty, fun kitty, good kitty, nice kitty, fun kitty. Tell them. I'm right all the time, right? You tell them. Word up. Word up. Yeah. Yeah. Bust that. Bust that. <laughs> Don't pay me no mind. That's only going to make it worse.
the late great Tupac, speaking of making it worse, the late great Tupac said, prison ain't changed me. It made me worse. I'm like, if it got worse, isn't that kind of like a change, Tupac? <laughs> that sounds like a change to me. I don't know. Call me crazy. You can call me crazy. Make sure y'all hit the like button. Make sure y'all share the show. Make sure that you hit. Make, make sure that you subscribe. Uh, make, make sure you hit the like. Uh, make sure that you share the top. Yeah. And make sure that you subscribe to the top. Yes. Yes. It's the daily go get a deal. I said the daily, daily, the daily. I said the daily, the daily. I said the daily, the daily. I said the daily go get them. All right. <laughs> Jeff Hawkins says he got the cat trained. I really do. <laughs> she know what it is. She know what it is. She know who got these. She know who put down the litter around this motherfucker. All right. Carol says, now when she when she claw up your clothes, don't be hollering at Crystal. That shit be her. <laughs> Shavai like that shit. It's the daily, daily, the 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 we have people that that we like. We have people that you know do certain things that we 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 feeling. You know what I mean? It doesn't necessarily have to be a, a blood family member. It could be a friend. It could be a, a teacher, a mentor, a, a tutor, a coach, a coach. Look, look how many, look at, look, if you, you want to know your influences, you want to know who you take after, all you have to do is think about the people who you thank, you know, who you thank for, for making you who you are today. The people that you, that um you pay homage to. The people that you've prayed for, the people that you have have um, felt blessed for having come into your life, regardless of how long they were there or how short they that they were there. The impact is what it is. And when somebody has a really strong impact on your life, it's going to stick with you forever. Like my dad always said. When the student is ready, the teacher will appear. And when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. The cream always rises right to the top. And when it's in there, yo, don't stop, don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. Drop it like it's hot. Make sure you give it all the fuck that you got. Everything is going to be all right. We do it now. It's going down. It's going down. Take the crown, kings and queens. We right here doing things. And we make sure we down with Robbie, Robin Ming. Uh, uh. And we sing, and we sing, and we... Eh. And we sing and we sing. Yeah, we're about to get on the body here. Let's do these birthday shout outs, man. Let's do the birthday shout outs. We have some birthday shout outs to do. Some people were born on this glorious, glorious, glorious. March 10th, and they deserve to be acknowledged. So let's go about our business of, of acknowledging them and making them feel special because they are special because they are special because they are S P E C I A L. They get the R E S P E C T. They are S P E C I A L. They get the R E S P E C T. They are S P E C I A L. They get the R E S P E C T. They get number one out the box, Monica. Lock Laca Laca La No wait Laca La Meria Laca La Meria La La Cala Meria La Cala Me La La Cala La Ca La Meria turning fifty three years old today and Fabiola Lusant Happy birthday to you and Beverly Askia turning sixty four years old today and Janita Roberts turning forty five years old today. Wow! And Jessica Short turning 39 years old today. And last but not least, Nicole Woodward, Woodward no, Woodard Bratton, happy birthday to you. And I want to say happy birthday to all of you and anyone else out there who shares this birthday on this glorious, glorious, glorious.
March 10th, anywhere out there in the world, worldwide, internationally, and universally. All of y'all go ahead and turn up. Turn up, but don't turn up too loud. Just turn up loud enough so everybody can hear you. A rock out, rock on and do the damn, the damn, the rock out, rock on and do the, do the, do the damn, rock out, rock on and do the damn thing. You do your thing, y'all. Represent the queens and kings. You do your thing, y'all. Represent the queens and kings. Good things happen to those who wait. Great things happen to those who grind. And any, any, to any, to anything can happen to those who go for theirs. So go hard, go for yours. And remember, man, listen, you can take after whoever has the strong influences on you. And hopefully the influence that was so strong on you that they impressed upon you was a positive influence. Hopefully somebody showed you how to read, showed you how to write, showed you how to do some math, showed you how to do the math, showed you how to read it right and do the math. In other words, add up the cost of things, calculate the risks of things, and be able to deduce that something is supposed to be the way that it is. Hopefully the influences that have bestowed upon you have been truthful, the truth, the real truth. Hopefully you have been put in a position where where um, the people who influenced you showed you how to get farther, showed you how to advance, showed you how to win organically instead of having to cheat, instead of having to lie, instead of, instead of having to steal. Hopefully, whoever had influences on you was proud, can stand proud of, of what they showed you and how they influenced you. You know what I mean, like your grandmother, like your grandfather, like your like your mama or your daddy, like 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 like. But unfortunately, all all mamas and daddies ain't good. But I think that all mamas and daddies have some good in them. I want to thank y'all for coming through. Peace to all my day ones, my every days, and my brand news. I love y'all to death. Resuscitate y'all. Love y'all right back to life. We will be back tomorrow night. We will be back. We will we'll be back tomorrow night. We will, we, will, we will be back tomorrow night. And that's right. And I hope that I have y'all all in my sight. Word. Had a good time tonight messing with, messing around with y'all. Y'all actually, even though even though there are times when y'all don't call in like every day, it's all good. Um, I still have fun with y'all. Y'all don't even know. Yeah, hey, yo, son. Hey, yo, for real. You know what I mean? Y'all don't even be knowing though. You know what I mean? Yo, shit is rad, though. Y'all, y'all didn't even be knowing, but it's all good. It's all love. But like I said, we will be back tomorrow night. So I hope y'all come back. Hope y'all come back. All right. Uh, just wanted to make sure I ain't really miss nothing. Just wanted to make sure I ain't really miss nothing. <laughs> DMV home girl, homes girl. That's what's up. DMV homes girl. Thanks for coming through. Came through a little late, but it's all good. So. All my blog talk people, let me get y'all in the body here. Let me get y'all in the body here. I take after y'all though. I take after y'all though. You know what I mean? So holla back. Ah! And for my Instagram Thank people, I thank you for coming through. Radio. But I get Goodbye. back with you. But I get back with you. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh. And and for my YouTubers, y'all know what it is. So I'll see y'all tomorrow night, seven o'clock. Y'all know y'all know how it go. Y'all know the y'all know the business. You know the business. And I say, ah, peace one.